So, it's about time for another guitar project build. And this is going to be the best project yet. It's a combination of all the things I love. But it's really just one thing. Beer. Specifically, this week we'll be working on a brewery-themed guitar build. What does that mean? Well, i got three core ingredients I want to use on this Fender Strat knockoff guitar you've seen before you. A, I want to mount a beer holder right there. There's this funky trans red paint job. We're going to cover that up, get rid of that nonsense. I'm going to Mod Podge some kind of makeshift blueprint brewery images as the background. Beer holder goes right there. I bought some tubing, so we want it to be functional when you're playing the guitar. Stock your beer right there. Boom. Tubing, up the guitar strap, ready to go. Boom. Finally, this is probably the hardest part, but I would love to make a pickguard out of bottle caps. This is the only question mark portion. So that's probably the part of the project I'm most worried about. Kind of a Mod Podge Pro. That's going to be cake. I think the, uh, the beer holder, beer can mount is going to be real simple. Two screws, done. So let's take a look at the parts I picked up today. After we do that, I'm going to roll right into, I think, the Mod Podge. That's going to be the base of the guitar. I think it's going to set the tone for this project. All right, let's take a look at what we're going to be working with in this video. Went to my local hardware store today. Let's see what I got. We need some work buddies. We're going to do some Mod Podge action on this guitar. I've never worked with gloves before. I should start doing it now, especially with the Mod Podging. I have some brackets for the tubing I want to ultimately use for the beer bottle. Said tubing, oh, 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 steel wool. So real fine grit steel wool, which I want to use, uh, well, I'll show them using for a little bit. Found these cool brackets, which I'm going to use to mount the beer bottle to the guitar. Uh, about time, I've made about eight of these guitars, a little, little ventilation, a little home dust mask, especially when I'm working with paints and sanding. I should have been using this long ago. All-purpose glue sticks, you never have enough of that. Straight paint, washers, screws, you know those pliers. I think that's enough to get us started. Let's start by uh, removing the strings, prepping the guitar for some work, and it's mud. see my face right now, that means one of two things. Either A, I'm going to tell you this is a two-parter video. I know, I know. i got to spread these out as much as I can. Or B, I have a beer review for you. You know what it is? It's C, all of the above. 
yeah, it's a two-parter. The other one will be out in one week, I promise. And this week, I have Batter Brows. I think I'm saying that right. Southside Pride. It was brewed for the South Side, by the South Side, for all Southsiders, wherever they may be. It's a Munich Heelys. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. 4.8% ABVs. The beer's ready, so am I. That's off foam. Let's just drink it out of the can. There's something there. There's a hidden ingredient. I can't put my finger on it. I like this brewery. I think they put out some kind of cool eclectic beers. But the hidden ingredient reminds me of those those bubbles you'd get as a kid. Like, you put the, the wand in the, the bottle, and you take it out, and you blow in it. Just trust me. You put that wand too close to your mouth, you taste it. You know what it tastes like. And that's the aftertaste I'm getting. And like always, if you had fun watching this video, do me a favor, smoosh that keyboard in front of you. Let me know what you think. I love it, I love to see it. It's abstract, it's new, it's hip. Till next time. <laughs>